Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Cold Killer, and I have some Black Ops 2 announcements for you guys. So, Black Ops 2 comes out in two weeks. Is anyone else excited as I am? <laughs> Let's get this video started. So, in the background for you guys, I have a game battles match I have. It's like a really quick one. We 4-0 these kids. They were not that good. So, uh, let me explain to you guys what Black Ops 2 information I have for you guys. So, actually, um, David Vonerhart uh, tweeted out that... He Black Ops will no longer have the matchmaking system that every other Call of Duty has had. So as you guys know, Call of Duty actually searches for um, games in your region. So if you live in North America, you'd have games in North America. If you had live in er Europe, you'd have uh, games in Europe. And then actually went down even lower. So like if you lived in Arizona where I live, it searches for games in Arizona. Doesn't matter how well you are connected to that person, it searches for games in Arizona. So what Black Ops 2 is changing in their matchmaking system is they're searching for uh, games based on latency and ping. So basically what this means is, like, I, I, as I see it, it's going to be an end to lag compensation. Uh, so let's say, because uh, let's base off my latency and ping and um, meta, uh, megabits per second or whatever. And so I, I run at 20 uh, megs. Per second or whatever and so when it's basically I have really good internet I have like a, a a plus for United States it's like I know other parts of Europe have like way better internet but I have like an a plus for United States so basically it's gonna match me up with other a pluses so like if a guy in Europe has 20 megs for 20 megs of internet and like ping of 25 like same exact as me it's gonna match me with that person in Europe rather than matching a person with me in Arizona that has only four megs of internet. And so with this, it's going to be an end to lag compensation, as I see, just because you're going to be always put in games with people with similar connections to you. So no one really has the advantage and no one really has the disadvantage. So I believe that it's going to just going to make um, the games will run a lot smoother and everything. The only problem I see coming with this is um, the same problem that you have when you play with parties. It's just not everyone in your party has the same connection as you. So I don't know if it will go off the host's connection, like the host of the party or whatever. I'm, I'm curious to see how they're going to work that out. But basically, there's just no... There's just no idea of how it's going to run so smooth until like you actually run it. But it's just, I think this is going to be a lot better. It's going to be a lot faster to find games because there's a lot of people that have the same internet connection as me, but not in the same area. Because like my ping goes all the way up to 150 right now on Modern Warfare 3, like every game. Just because people in my area, I don't have a lot of people in my area that play on the PlayStation. They all play on Xbox. So basically with this, I'm going to be getting a lot better connection. And I'm gonna, it's just going to be an all around funner game, I believe. Just because you won't be have those questionable calls that you do in Modern Warfare 3. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Black Ops 2 information I gave for you. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Uh, you guys do see these guys rage quit because we 4 0 them and we each go 4 0 So we carried each other's weight and we just totally dominated these kids. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you.